I'm Toma Kudo, a 28-year-old Shachiku. During today's lunch break, I saw my boss having a secret meeting with my girlfriend. All I thought about was our upcoming marriage, which is why I didn't notice she was cheating on me until now. My girlfriend just kissed the department head, right? I'll take care of this client. The usual? Yep. I need to take responsibility in important matters like this. Anyways, what were you doing during today's lunch break? I was eating unachu. It's just that I saw you on the roof. It must have been someone else. I guess. I'm home. Welcome home. Hey. What? Let's cancel our marriage. Looks like it was my girlfriend that I saw. The department head, Mr. Genta, told me that he wanted to marry me. He even bought me a car already. This is my kohai, Ayumi. She asked me out a year ago, and we were supposed to be engaged. I had moved in with her to prepare for the marriage. What were you doing during lunch? We were kissing. He said he was eating unaju. How do you know that? We started kissing on the rooftop after that. Apparently, Mr. Genta ate unaju, then ate my girlfriend. She asked me to leave immediately. So I did. I'm such an idiot leaving my stuff in her house! All I have is my wallet and my phone! One more curry, please. Sir, curry's the only thing you've eaten here since high school. It's good value for money! Hello, a curry, please. Oh, long time no see. You're so pretty now. Oh, sorry, but I'm not interested. Wait, Toma? Yes, that's my name. This annoying way of talking. You're Toma. What are you doing here? It's been ten years, right? You came back to our hometown? This is Akine Hatori. We used to be classmates back in high school. She was the president of the student council, which meant that she often bossed me, the vice president, around. She was always happy and smiling, caring for the people around her. <laughs> but she was always cold when it came to me. I got engaged, but my fiancé cheated on me with our boss. She kicked me out of her house because I had moved in with her to prepare for the marriage, but I left all my stuff there, so I can't even go to work because I don't have a suit. What the hell are you doing? You know you're in your pajamas right now, right? I stayed in a business hotel in these clothes as well. I'm glad to see you haven't changed at all. Wait, you got engaged? You're joking, right? But you said you didn't want to have a girlfriend. I just said that to let you know that you could ask me out at any time. But we became distant after we graduated, and I realized that you saw me as an enemy, so I didn't really think that it was going to work. Huh? What? What I'm trying to say is that I liked you, ever since we were in elementary school. But whenever I tried approaching you, you just brush me off and insult me. I feel ill, so give me a cola, please. I don't need the curry anymore. The lemon's on the house. The message is, if only it were a dream. Okay, he has a point though. Say that this is just a dream. It wasn't. I told you every day that I loved you, right? You were just teasing me, right? That was the only way I could say it. Otherwise, I would have gotten too embarrassed. More lemons, please. It might turn this into just a dream. Here you go! It's not going to turn this into a dream, though. It was the first time anyone asked me out, so I thought I shouldn't let go of the chance. You're pretty, too. So I thought that you probably already got married. I feel like crying. But... Your face always flashed in my mind. My fiancé and I lived together for a year, but we never even held hands. Idiots. I've never even had a boyfriend. Really? They must have no taste where you work! You're the one who has no taste. I tried to get you to like me, didn't I? I even made you cookies once. I just thought that you were showing off your cooking skills to me since you considered me a rival. <laughs> the other customers are staring and stopped buying stuff. So could you two please leave and return once you're married? <laughs> Sorry, come on, let's go. 
to where? My house! I just can't leave you wandering in your pajamas. You're such a weirdo, Hattori. Shut up! I don't want to be called a weirdo by you. You're such an idiot. Wow! You live in a pretty nice place. I'm a CEO, after all. Seriously? I'm the one who should be surprised right now. What are you going to do after work? I don't know. It's pretty awkward. Obviously. I guess I'll tell Ayumi to send my stuff to my parents' house first. We've never even held hands, though. Oh. What's up? She blocked me. What are you going to do? You only have your phone and wallet, right? I have my pajamas as well! You're going to make me sad if you think that's something to be proud of. Huh? Did you like me too or something, Akine? <laughs> Idiot. What? You're kidding, right? Um, it's true that we've known each other for a long time, but you think that I just let a guy I just met for the first time in ten years into my home? Hold on, but I thought we were rivals! Are you an actual idiot? Hey, Kudo from the East and Hattori from the East, from Conan, were rivals as well, right? You are the only one who said things like that. I also never pointed out that Hattori was from the West, since I thought it would embarrass you. I asked you once to sumo wrestle with me to decide who truly was the boss of the East. But then you got mad, right? Did you think I just agreed with sumo wrestle with you? I wore miniskirts back then, remember? Why didn't you do things like that with your ex-girlfriend? You're the one who told me that things like that should be done after we got married. That's what I said when we were playing house back in elementary school. What you taught me is what I live by, Akine. Your words were special to me after all. He just got his marriage cancelled and he's already trying to make me fall for him. This is strange, Hattori, what Conan says. I'm not trying to make you fall for me. And now you're making jokes when we're still talking about something important! If I hadn't fell for you right now, no one would have ever been able to make me fall for them. Me? With God's ultimate creation, Akine? That's what you call flattery. Fine, live with me from now on. I'm going to hit you harder than you did on me. Oh, and switch jobs to my company while you're at it. While I'm at it? Yes, while you're at it. I thought my feelings for you were single-sided for 20 years until today. You're mine now. Oh, and your salary is going to be just that. You get to be with me. Do you have any problems? N no <laughs> Apparently, I was changing jobs. So I decided to call our department head. But he'd already blocked me. He's going to be working with us from now on. Like a carriage mule. His name is Kudo. Huh? I'm going to make him work in sales, accounting, general affairs, and planning. Huh? Do you have any complaints? I'm telling you, you get to have me as your salary. Uh, no complaints, ma'am. Yesterday, she shouted at me saying that I was hers now, and that she wouldn't let me go. That's the guy the CEO said that she wanted to start coming to the company with, right? Yup. She'd always tell us in drinking parties how he could do anything. I'll do my best! I should quit drinking alcohol. Everyone's smirking at us. The second chapter of my life started at Akine's game planning company. Two months later... We got a purchase order. What? Who do they think we are? Look, Akine! Call me CEO. What is this? They must be trying to make an escape room that nobody will be able to escape with this amount of money! <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? This isn't a joke! Someone's pranking us! Do something about this! Aww, the CEO got mad at me! It's your fault for getting in between the two of them. <sighs> I'm glad for their consideration, but it makes working difficult. We kept getting crazy orders regularly after that. This is strange, Hattori. You're right, Kudo. Wait, stop fooling around! This isn't just a prank anymore, right? It's going to be a huge mess if we accidentally accept. Hmm, still though. Work's been going really well thanks to the efforts of the employee. If it's for you, then I'd work harder than a carriage mule. Call me Mule Man! Yeah, yeah, good work. I'll give you a hug when we get home.
sorry, but we aren't even married yet. Huh? But we've been living together for three months now. Wait, don't get mad! I'll have nowhere to go if you throw me away! I would never! It was a miracle meeting you again in that restaurant. Maybe I should put a collar on you. Jokes aside, though. No, I'm going to hug you when you get home. What? We've got some new employees, so we better tell them to not accidentally accept these orders. Yep. I probably jinxed it by saying that. One of our office workers accidentally accepted one of those prank orders yesterday. S sorry Don't blame yourself. Their name is just one letter off from one of our actual clients. What should we do? Should we beat them up? Since when did you become a meathead? I've got some connections, so just be patient. Uh, who might you be? This is Mr. Uotska. Greetings! So this is brother's wife. You had a brother in his 50s, Toma? Mr. Uotska and I met in Hawaii. He was about to be arrested for the possession of some strange white powder. <laughs> I got my hands on some nice sugar, you see. Ever since he saved me, I've been calling him brother. What's his profession? He's a detective. I'm the vice president of the White Order. This was my fault. My former department head was behind this. I'm so sorry. Why would he do this? Oh, I decided to have some fun and send them a letter saying congratulations on the marriage and that I'd be taking care of you from now on. I was thinking of doing that myself when we got married, with the wedding invitation. Why, you? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I tried adopting your sense of humor. Mr. Genta had a wife and children. What? what?! He probably got mad because his wife found out. Sorry, it's because I had to go and send that letter. It's not your fault, Akine. Last month, I also sent my ex-girlfriend a fax, saying that I was now living with my beautiful childhood friend. Kitty Chan was probably pissed. What are you two doing? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Still, what those two did is unforgivable. You two are just idiots. I arranged a meeting between you guys. He just made fun of us. I'm going to borrow the parking lot. The parking lot? At least let them in the building. No. I don't want to have them anywhere near your precious company's office. They're going to dirty the floor. Toma, I love you. Restrain yourselves, you two. Oh, looks like they've arrived. Kudo! This is all your fault! No need to get so mad. Why not just get divorced and marry Ayumi? Idiot! Do you think I'm going to have a serious relationship with a kid like this? Huh? That's what I wanted to tell you, fat man. Would you believe that he makes me eat Okakodon when he eats Unaju? What's bad about Oyakodon? Me and my wife? We're getting divorced because of you! Not only that, but you didn't delete the data when you quit the company, did you? What's that got to do with anything? The CEO found out that I've been asking the employees in the sales department to give me a little credit for the work they did! That's how you did your job? What an idiot. Shut up! It's me who's going to have the last laugh, though! Your company is finished now that you've accepted that shitty deal! You guys are going to go into huge debt and collapse! I'm not going to let this company collapse. We accepted the contract, so we'll give you what you asked of us. A huge maze for an event, right? Uh, the, the deadline is in one month! There's no way you'll make it in time! We're already done. Come on. We used to work in the same company, right? The steel and factory industries were my main clients, remember? We'll gladly accept this impossible task of yours. Here's the money you're going to have to pay us. There's no way I can pay this much! What should we do, Mr. Uotska? We'll get a lawyer or something immediately. Damn it! Uh, are you all right, Toma? I'm fine. Thankfully, Mr. Uotska is a judo master. My father taught me in Hawaii. I called one of our employees. We'll talk to the department head. Apparently, Mr. Genta quit the company after that, and started fishing for eels. Why don't we get back together? No thanks. Huh? So this old hag is your new girlfriend or something? Let me give you some advice, old hag. This guy is completely useless. 
It's true that Akine is three years older than you, but that doesn't mean she isn't pretty. She does yoga, so she looks younger than her age as well. And she always worries about the fat around her armpit. Toma! Oh! Shut up for a moment. Sit. Uh, okay. Listen here. Toma isn't useless. What are you talking about? He can't do anything well. Poor Toma. It's not that Toma can't do anything. It's just he completely lacks motivation most of the time. I don't know how he was with you, but with me, at the very least, he's amazing. H huh? What's with that smug face? He also covers his face with his hands whenever I wear thin clothes at home. Oh, what an idiot! But if you look at him closely, you can see that he's actually looking at me through his fingers. He's cute, right? You knew?! I wear clothes like that just to see how you react, Toma. Of course I knew! But you never did that with me! Oh, sorry. I just never felt aroused by you. You two are so annoying! Ugh. I'm so over you now, Toma! I'm going home! I had feelings I thought you one-sided for him for 20 years. Don't think you're better than me just because you lived with him for a year. Yeah, oh, sorry! Ayumi went home in the car the department head bought her. It seems she has no intention of returning it. W what I've been meaning to give this to you for so long. Since when? 86 days ago. That's the day after I brought you here, right? I wanted to marry you, but I thought you wouldn't like it if I gave it to you right after my own marriage got cancelled. Ah! You're always like this, deciding everything on your own. My back hurts. My chest hurts. You've been making me feel impatient for so long now. What's with those hands? Uh, I was just going to check on your chest since you said it hurt. It was a figure of speech, you pervert. I thought you didn't want to do things like that until we got married. Wait, you just gave me the marriage papers, right? It's a bit weird since you're on top of me, but, but please marry me. Tell me about it. At least propose to me like a regular person. I was going to, but then you threw me to the couch. That's true. Sorry. I realize that I have zero social skills and can be annoying sometimes, but it's true that I've been wanting to be by your side ever since we were kids. Don't just go on with the proposal. I'll get off of you first. No, stay there. I always wanted you to sit on me. You're going to propose to me while literally being sat on? If anyone's going to sit on me, it's you and your beautiful ass. What? I told you that you were going to get me as your salary, right? That means I'm yours now, Toma. How many kids do you want? Please be nice with me. <laughs> He's so cute! I was brought together with my childhood friend I thought was my rival. I now know that rivalries are just another form of unrequited love. <laughs>